Hey, good morning. And it is May 4th. And today we're going to talk a little bit about my encaustic city project, which has been two weeks. And I ultimately went from being happy with a simple textured photograph of these views from a 2nd Avenue, 82nd Street uh, view of the New York City skyline to wanting to do an encaustic uh, treatment of it. So this is a wet photo transfer of the original photograph without the sky. And it went pretty well. I'm getting pretty good at that part of the process. Um, and this is the finished uh, transfer onto a 4x6 uh, encaustic board that had wax, warm wax on it. As you can see, the transparency grid was even printed. If I had to do this over, I would put a white background but I knew it wasn't going to upend the project. No, you can trust me on this one. Just leave it to my painting skills to upend a project because this is what I ultimately did to this photo transfer. I took oil sticks and uh, looked like I was drinking heavily during the application of them. What can I say? This points up a real problem I have with encaustics, and I don't think I'm alone, but my impulsive nature, I think, leads me to have this problem more often than not. And that is, I can go from having a pretty good product to a just god-awful one in seconds, either by overusing the heat gun or by uh, misuse or abusing some of the pigments, and in this case it was oil sticks. I just couldn't stop myself. So, off I went to Photoshop with a photograph of the hot mess. And I reapplied the layer of the actual photograph onto the hot mess and did a, a blending mode that eliminated uh, the sky. And I sort of liked where this was going. And I also added another layer of that original photograph, as you can see in the sort of ghost-like um, skyline that's behind it. Then I started uh, with a rather neutral texture and experimenting with the multiply or the overlay uh, blending mode. And so I said, okay, keep going, keep going. And this is where I kept going in terms of the textures. I decided to um, end the texture experimentation when I got to this combination. I liked the color distribution of the city and I liked the textures um, and the color of the sky area. So I said, okay, I've resurrected the hot mess into something. Then I took another city view from this apartment that I was staying in, and it, I think it was, best of my memory, 2nd Avenue and 81st or 82nd Street, facing... At this point, I think um, Southwest, maybe. And then I took this photograph that I had taken uh, at a MoMA exhibit several years ago of a radiator, literally a Holmes radiator, that this exhibit had the contents of an entire Chinese home. And that was the exhibit. And it was fascinating to see all the different things that were part of 
um, this home, but this radiator was one of them, and I deliberately did an abstract of it, and when I looked at it years ago, I said, that sort of looks like a city skyline. Now, I never did use it, but it's a good example of never throw anything out because you ultimately may find a use for it, and I did. I layered that also into the uh, revised uh, photograph. You can't really see it here because of the blending mode I've chosen, except this area, this darkened area, I think uh, is its footprint. Then I started trying to tweak this and it just wasn't going anywhere. And then I used a blending mode called Difference, which I use very rarely, and yet in this particular circumstance, I knew it would lend itself to a twilight view of the city, which is what I was going for, believe it or not, because uh, I find that to be a magical time looking at a city as dense as New York when the lights in the building begin to come on and the light is fading outside. So I liked the fact that the illumination was beginning to appear in windows and the shadings as well as what it was doing to the sky. So I said, okay, I think I'm on the right track here. And this is what I ended with, and that was after applying another um, layer of the original photograph. And you can more clearly see here what I like, in the sense that you can almost sense that there's life there, that there might be somebody walking along. Um, uh, having a drink or a cigarette or whatever. It just had a sense of city presence and life amidst the city. And so that's why I ultimately chose to go with it. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do anything more with this, but stay tuned because I might put it back onto an encaustic board and try wax again. Uh, come visit me, patcoakley.com or facebook.com slash Coakley Creative Media. I'm on Instagram at Pat Coakley and Twitter at Pat Coakley. And actually, my Instagram may be art of the diet, all one word, because I'm into that too. All right, thanks.